Harmony, welcome back to the channel. Fix it for resetting. Ugh, I've bought a shitload of stuff. Right, excuse the mess. I've just bought it all in and dumped it. It's like Cambridge Audio One. That needs fixing. Synthesizer, um, Technics tutors, Sony speakers, Seisho boombox, more Sony speakers. Um, I think there's a subwoofer down there. Uh, we've got Technics separates, the amp and the tuner. One stony stacking system. Uh, it's missing the CD and the record player off that, but still. Another Sony like multi system, free disc changer. I think that one's having trouble reading discs. Synthesizers, speakers, more tuners, big amps. That's a Yamaha. I think that one's that's one fully working. A Rock Audio. Tuners, tuners, an old Philips amp stereo. Uh, another Onkyo tuner, another Sony CD, another NAD stuff, that. Oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. That was all from uh, Jack Dobbins and I've got DVD, VHS players in, it's fixing. Uh, more Sony speakers in there, sitting on top of a, yeah, sitting on top of a Harman Kardon um, amp. Got that with all the speakers on top of it there. Oh, I just got a mince now. Xbox One there doesn't turn on. VHS. These were from the car boot and like auction. This other stuff. But yeah, I've got an absolute immense mountain of stuff to go for here. And car boot Chris's ETs under there somewhere. So I think there's a. It's a bloody hot one today. I think there's a few bits in there that are working. Um, a lot of it's uh, not turned on or got some errors. But we got a good deal from Jack. He basically just wanted to clear the stuff. So yeah, a lot of this was lifted, listed as spare. So we've got a lot of work to do to go through, see if we can fix it. Right, we're forgetting jack stuff for now. Uh, James saw this at the car boot for a tenner and picked it up for me. I think he said it wasn't working. Uh, I paid him 13 quid, three pound of buyer's fee. Uh, so you plug it in straight away. We got a red light on the power brick. Do we get anything on the panel? No, nothing. No beeps, no nothing. Dead as a dodo. What do, we, what do we reckon? Shorting on the 12 volt rail? Let's get it apart and find out. Uh, it does look like it's been opened before. Does it? I'm sure if it's got them stars and stuff on there, it's been peeled off. Oh, I don't know. Let's heat it up. Because if, if it is intact, which I don't think it is. No. I like to try and keep them as original as possible. Sometimes I will just take these off and I'll stick my own uh, kind of like seal over them. Stick it on the back end of an old label. I think it's come apart before. It's very, uh, it's coming apart very easily. To break the seal on the front and gently lift this back. And that's done. Right, there's absolutely millions of videos on how to take one of these apart, so I won't bore you with my one. It does all look very clean, I must say. Has this been a part before? You know, has someone already looked at this? Right. 
All right, let's have a look down our most popular area and see if we're shorted. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, blimey, it feels like a bit ages since I did this. Probe on ground, one on the gate, point six fine. On the gate, on the gate, point six fine. On the gate, point six fine. Point six fine. All of our gates there. They're fine. Alright, so we're not even not short in the ground, so what are we missing? Let's have a quick nosey over the board and check our uh, check our voltage rails. See if we can find any. Right, so just got it plugged in. Was checking voltages around the board because we've got our five volts. Obviously, we've not got our twelve volts, but we need a five volt signal to tell the twelve volts to turn on. All right, so just got a probe on ground and we've got our test points um, around here like you see TP4B3 is a it says 5 PO standby so that's a 5 5 volt standby turn the multimeter on so you can see it so we've got our 5 volts coming through here we've got a 3.3 volt standby that we're not getting there a 1.1 standby volt that we are getting there and then we have a 1.8 standby volt that we're not getting. We're getting zero. We've got a 1.1 1 .1 on our five. We're not getting our three. But I was just looking around this circuit on this 1.8 uh, volt, sta uh, volt standby that we're not getting. And I might have seen a little problem over in this corner. Let me unplug this a minute so I can turn the board around and zoom in. Uh, it's not too. I haven't looked yet under a microscope or anything of closely at it if it's that bad. This little transistor here. I'm not sure if that has got a little hole in it or whether it's just a little mark. It feels like a little hole. Let me get that under the microscope. We might be able to see it a bit better. Let's bring this in. Now remember to press the record button on this time. Let's zoom right down in on it. Too close. There. I think that's definitely got a hole in that. NHW56. Alright, let's see if I've got one of these boards spare. And see if we can swap that out. Is this the same board? Yeah, I think so, very similar. So UC37. Let's get them both in shot and hopefully we can do this all in one go. Right, so let's get some flux on these. 
Still, I don't know whether this is going to make our 3.3 volt rail come back, so we're still missing that. Right, we're on 480 degrees. Got the airflow turned up just over halfway. Start by getting this one off the bottom board, which is the board we're working on. Warm the area up. Go in for the kill. You probably can't see what I'm doing. This board is going to soak up a lot of heat. There we go, that's that one off. I'm not worrying about warming this board up, just want to get some heat on here and get this off before the other board cools down. I'm trying to rest my band on here, but it's absolutely burning hot. Let's get some flux on that, help it flow into place. Done. Keep this board out in case we need it for anything else. Just gonna wipe this down while it's still warm. Let's get some of this sticky old flux off first. Come in with some IPA and just hopefully rub the last of it off. Oh, it's still, board is still pretty warm, but let's um, give this a go. Multimeter up here. I think uh, we've got a green light on our uh, box now. Yeah, we have. Wires uh, in the way. That is now a green light. So let's just check our readings. Uh, where was he? 1.8 standby. Yes, we have 1.8. Yes, we have 1.1. I've got new neighbours, they've started to drill. Brilliant. It's got a 5. Have we got a 3.3 back? Yes, our 3.3 is back. On bolt standby, yeah. Uh, these are all our south bridges. I don't think these turn on until we try and turn it on. Let's just plug our fan in and see if this 
does anything. Let's see if we get a twitch. Yes, we do. We still have a green light. I think that may be trying to boot up. I'm going to shut that down before it overheats. Uh, let's put this back together enough to test it and turn it on without it overheating. See what happens. Um, I'm not sure. I might give this a dust down and just put the whole thing back together. I think this is probably going to work. In which case, I need to reapply it. Thermal paste. Oh, a lovely bit of MX4. Is it the perfect amount? I'll let you decide. Let's plug that on, get the TV ready. Right, the other camera, what have I done with the other camera? Record, so you can see I'm recording on there. Power supply on. Red light went to green quickly. See, no signal on the TV. Are we going to get a sound? Are we going to get lights? Oh, didn't even touch it. No. It's gone red. What? Oh, maybe it was just turn itself in the standby. Yeah, we got green. Can hear fan spin. Screen's changing. It's picked up signal. Hello. That was a strange fix. Uh, now let's see if it's banned or not. Where's my controller? It's got a controller here, we'll try and sync that. Oh, hang on, did we get a free game? Oh, yeah. Cities Skylines. Hmm, interesting. Um, oh, blimey. I'm going to hide the person's name, but no, that's a weird startup screen to have the ITV hub on there. Looks like I just use it for ITV hub. Oh, where's the screen gone? I don't want to connect the internet. No, let's sync this controller if it's even charged. Control seat. Okay, cancel that rubbish. So yeah, it's like just watch ITV, uh, YouTube, iPlayer, Netflix. Uh, can I show this page? I can show that half of it. I'm not going to show the person's username on there. So yeah, right. Let's run a few tests. Let's put the game in there, and then I'll. You know, check the network and stuff like that. So we know that one's installed. Is it automatically going to play it? Yep. Right. I'd say that is uh, reading the disk file and loading up games. I always think it's the Xbox fans making noise, it's this, bloody third party power bricks, 
fans in there are noisier than the console itself. All right, let me just test. I'm just going to test the network and stuff, and uh, we'll finish this video up. Right, and there we go. That's it. Looks like it's all working nicely. Um, I've connected the Wi-Fi. I've updated it. Uh, reset it. Uh, log back in as like me just to test, and uh, and yeah, it's all good. Hey, who's that clown? <laughs> so yeah, that wasn't too bad. It was it took me a little while to find that, but after testing the voltages and find something was missing, I could look back on that rail and uh, just notice that tiny little pinprick of a, a hole in that transistor. And that's all it was. It was knocking out the 3.3 volt rail as well. So I'm just gonna give this a, a quick dust in, quick wipe on the outside. We'll get it listed on eBay, probably, Dropped in price a bit now, about 60 quid. Um, I might just do it with a console and power brick only. But these were going for 70 or 80 last time I did one of them. But so, And even with a remote, they're going for the same price. So I'll leave the controller thing out of it. So. But yeah, hopefully hopefully this was quite a quickish one. Should be quick, hopefully, if I can edit it, edit it down enough. But I hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. There's a lot of hope in at the end of my videos. Thanks for watching.